previously on a -list. This is a challenge that is now already legendary with the a -list. We're calling this Rest Code. Stealing Sir Tash's dressing room. Gentlemen, you look amazing. Well done for picking outfits in 25 minutes flat. And this is the moment of truth. We have our style experts, Lani and Wei Chung, who are about to critique you. If I could please have Gary and Garrett step forward. Gary, you've done a really good job with the coat that we gave you. You've made it look different. I love the pop of color, the way you've added the red shirt to it. And you've chosen the correct accessory to go with this. So well done. Gareth, I wish that you layered more, like maybe with a pullover. You look a bit conservative and a bit too proper. Next up, we have Andre and Chris. Chris, you look really good in your outfit. I like that you added sneakers. Andre, you're wearing a business suit, but you're not rocking it like a business suit, which I think is great. Shatash, yours is really cute, I'll have to say. You've made that t-shirt disappear completely. I thought it was a tie, and I thought, well, what a cute way to wear a tie. It's overall very stylish. Shalane, I like that you added a slightly sportier jacket to the whole look. Next up, we have Maxime and Mitu. Maxime, you've got the overcoat, which is a nice touch. Overall, you look quite conservative. You could have went for a brighter shirt, or maybe a brighter tie. Mitu's look for me is very interesting because what your colleague here has done is he's made it into a tuxedo look by making it very formal but what you've done is you've broken up the whole thing so it doesn't look like what it started out being and you've put your own stamp on that. Ludovico and Ju. I think overall Ludo looks effortless and he looks good. June, you look really cool. You've made that white shirt look sporty, preppy. You've put a lot of interesting elements into this so that's great. And we're on to our last and final pair. We have Ian and Meng. Meng, the leather jacket looks really nice on you. I think you've pulled the whole thing together very well with your choice of bag as well. And then you have a nice little printed t-shirt as well. Nobody else in the group has chosen anything printed. So well done, good eye. Ian, I think my main issue is probably the trousers. I think if you want to do this style where you're pushing it so high, I think it should be maybe in a darker colour. Gentlemen, you have each received some great style tips as well as a critique. And that's what this challenge was all about, to see how you would put together an outfit based around just one staple. Now it's our turn to go away and deliberate and to see who wins this challenge, who loses, maybe who goes home. All of you did such an amazing job, but as you know, there can only really be one winner and there can only be one loser, or maybe more. If I could please ask Sotash and Andre to step forward. Lani, what was it that you loved about their outfits? Andre, I thought you pulled off this suit very well. You have a, a proper businessman suit on, but it doesn't look so proper. You've worn the pants exactly as the pants are going to be worn this season, so you do have a good uh, eye for fashion going forward. Wei Chung, was there something that you didn't like about Sir Tasha's outfit? No, I think it was... <laughs> actually, I think he did, he did a good job with this look. He managed to make like 
utilitarian with like a bit more tailored overall well done. Gentlemen, you both did a remarkable job and we really appreciate your sense of style and your flair. But there can only be one winner. So Tash, you have won this challenge. Congratulations. You've just won for yourself a thousand dollar CK Calvin Klein voucher. I think it was fantastic. It was the best challenge so far that I really enjoyed. So I normally wear like this. So if you go to my wardrobe, it's more like simple pieces. But if you layer it up and put your own style a bit, you can spice it up into a different level. May I now please call out Maxine and Gareth. Overall, I think that it's, it's okay, it's good, they're doing what they're supposed to do. But here we are looking at you for fashion and style, so we need to have a little extra zing factor, which I thought may be missing a little bit here. Maxime and Gareth. Elimination is never an easy thing, because especially for me, I'm the one who has to deliver the bad news, and I always feel like I'm losing friends. Maxine, Gareth. When Anita said my name, I think my heart just sank down here and I had to pick it back up and uh, I was mortified. I was honestly uh, not expecting such a negative response. Gareth. You are safe. You must step back. Maxine. You have done a great job so far, Thank and we've you. really enjoyed having you in the competition. But unfortunately, you're going to need to check out. May I please have your dog tag? Absolutely. Thank you, Maxine. Yeah. Thank you. Very happy to, to be part of the of the adventure and, and to meet all the all the guys. And uh, it's just a game, so I'm obviously I'm disappointed, but uh, I really enjoyed it all the way. So, thank you. And then there were eleven. So, gentlemen. I guess the challenge proves to you that you're never really quite safe when it's a reality series. But we thank you all for being such great sports today and we'll see you at the next challenge. Tune in to the next webisode to find out who makes the cut and who might be checking out of the competition. And here's the power shot of the day. The top three A-listers will each receive a Tag Heuer Carrera, a bottle of Chivas Regal 18, one month's usage of the Citroen DS4, a CK Calvin Klein wardrobe, a Canon Power Shot G1X, and Lab Series Grooming Essentials. Log on to augustman.com slash A-listers now to vote for your favorite A-lister. Voting ends 30th September.